Today we're going to go over three different locations that will give you the Tingle armor in Tears of the Kingdom. If you may remember Tingle, a very beloved character in the Zelda franchise. Let's get into it. Your first location is going to be at Cape Kalis, and I'm sure I'm going to be butchering this name, inside the cave just off of this point. It's a very distinct area in the game, won't be too hard to find, but in case you do need to look for it, I zoomed out so you guys can take a look. Now from this location, is really well hidden. Go around the side as I'm showing you here, and you're going to land on the piece of wood right in front of the blocked stone wall. Use your whistle or horse calling command in front of the stone wall, and you'll be able to enter as the stone wall will open once you do this. Now make your way over to the little housing unit where the chest usually is, except this time it's not actually in this location. You're going to want to make your way onto the pirate ship that's docked nearby. Once you're on the pirate ship and you defeated all the different skeleton monsters make your way to the back of the ship behind all these boxes where you see the flags and you'll be able to get your first piece The next spot you gotta go to is at a very iconic location in Breath of the Wild and now Tears of the Kingdom, the Dueling Peaks. There are two different caves you need to go to. Make your way to the northernmost cave or just the north cave as you see here. Make your way through, there'll be some monsters, not really anything terrible, but on the ceiling, you will see this pattern. Now take a screenshot in the game or on your phone and make your way to the other cave where you're gonna find a bunch of different like likes and then this little puzzle where you have to put the four different stones in the right order. Simply reference back to the photo you just took in the previous cave and place them on the right square. Once you do this correctly, you can go into the back once the door opens and get your second piece. Finally, make your way to the westernmost part of Hyrule to the statue of the 8th heroine. I know I'm going to butcher the name, but you know what I'm talking about. You're going to want to make your way there. This is going to be your closest shrine that we have a quick teleportation there. Once you get here, you're going to see that there's a giant medallion that needs to be lit up. So take a mirror out of your inventory or one that's nearby and shine it at the little emblem in the middle of the day. Usually at noon is going to be your best time to actually shine this. Once you do, obviously you're going to have the entire area opened up. Simply you make your way inside and you're going to fight against a bunch of Gido, which are easily destroyed by elemental effects. Now, once you get inside and defeat all the Gido, you will find this fan sitting in one of the sand piles. Take this fan out and point it at the little pedestal where you normally find these chests. Simply turn it on and point it at this pedestal and you'll be able to get the final piece of the Tingle armor. Now this set of armor is extremely goofy, just like Tingle was, but it does have an interesting set bonus, which I'll show you here in a second, that allows you to run faster when it's nighttime, which is something that isn't shown in any other set in Tears of the Kingdom or Breath of the Wild, to my knowledge. Now these aren't a perfect one-to-one -one comparison, but you can tell they're running towards the same exact location, but on the left in the nighttime, he's getting there a lot faster than he would in the daytime. Now if you see him going around back to the exact location, to the little crack in the area, the nighttime link in the Tingle armor gets there much quicker than the daytime link in the Tingle armor. So it's a pretty big difference. All of this is to give you an idea that this armor set is fun, it's goofy, and it does help you in certain situations throughout the game. So I hope you guys found this location guide helpful. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.